Fang character realizing he cannot hold the bags and the muffin at the exact same time. Um, so right here, you just have to read the bolded parts. Nice. But the main thing is checking whether or not you know this word right here. Right. Okay, so it's uh, showman. Right. Showman no doamo. Here's ikyo. Ikyo yoku shimeta. Ikyo yoku shimeta. This means um like slipping in, slip through. That's a good guess, but slip no. Slip through and close. So it ends with a yo with a ku right here. You do know it's one word, which means that it is modifying. It's a it's a um adverb from ikioi yoi, which would be e adjective. Um, so it's modifying shimeru. Shimeru, you know what that means? Shoumen no doa mo shimeta. Shimeta. Um, sh shimeru is to close. Yes. So which door closed? Um, Shoumen no doa mo. The door, the front door. Hi. Front door also. Showman. Closed. And it closed in an ikioi yoku kind of way. Ikioi loku is um basically with a lot of aggression. So this is slamming the door shut. But it Ikiyo means yoku. like vigorously, anything with a lot of like spirit or force into it, energetic and things like that. So good aggression. I mean, a lot of aggression. Ikioi yoku. So, what was this word? Vigorously? Ikioi yoku. Ikioi yoku. Ikioi yoku. Perfect. And what did it mean? Aggressive. Um, aggressive. Hi, 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 Aggressively. Hi. hi. So, let's go read this word, where we have a slightly different verb at the end, but probably... Already know it. Oh, uh, this is from the book. So, so, uh, so, to, so, to, so, 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 Ikiyokushimata. The um the dining the, um the canteen or the, the cafeteria door uh shut violently or shut partially. Perfect. Regrettably. And from oh actually you know all that country pretty well, so I'm gonna Skip that. Did you read this word for me? Iganai. Hi. Did not realize. That's not a, that can be kind of what it means. It also has a little bit of a different, like indifferent kind of meaning. So your key, your attention will not, doesn't exist at all. So tsuku, kiga tsuku is to realize. Kiga tsuku. Because you're attaching your key key zuku as well is the same word uh both mean like to attach your attention towards something so this is what you would use with the uh, kanai to insinuate that you don't notice something well here though the existence of your energy toward it doesn't even exist in the first place so you have no energy toward them so you don't you don't care basically you're indifferent kiganai um, so let's go read the line from the book. I, um, nobody more. The netto more. Oreo. What's 
कि हुआ ना है This is, I think, राशि a hard one. राशि कि हुआ ना है राशि That's it. सो नेबुरी एज वेल एज बनेट सो Kiwanai is indifferent, but it's attached to Motsu here. Right. So to hold, to hold or to possess, and is this Motsu modifying ki? Yes. So It is. even though Kiwanai I said as like a phrase with you, it's not actually a phrase. And that's like the hard thing with um, learning other languages is that if we directly translate each part, it can be hard to understand it because key is like your attention, your energy or whatever. And nine means or none. So this is used to mean indifferent. And this is kind of what they're saying here, but we're describing the key as oreo motsu ki. What, what do you think that might kind of mean? Like based off of like the... sense you vaguely have with key because key is a hard word to directly translate because it doesn't have a direct translation but it kind of always means like the sameish thing the weird energy word what what do you think it's meaning so Well, it's probably mean here that Bennett, as well as Nebody, doesn't care one way or another about Khan. yes exactly So They like don't if I was seem translating to be this, bothered by it. I would probably say they do not hold any care. Like I, I do it this way. They do not hold care toward me, kind of, even though it's like that's also not like a direct translation just because he can't really be directly translated. But yeah, they're in they're indifferent to me. They don't care at all about they don't hold any care for me. Rashi. What does Rashi mean? Seems that way. Seems Yeah, to him. it seems Seems like that. to Khan that that's the case. Hi, hi, hi. Um, this was a word that you had struggle you struggled with not that long ago. Not today, but I tend to forget this guy. I think kaburitsuku means. Kaburi sweet, sweet out. Kaburi suku. Suku touch. Kaburi. Chizu o. Chizu o hasande. Kaburi suita. これはマフィンにジャムを塗り、スペットジャム、このマフィン、チーズを挟んで。Um, I'm guessing like stuff it in, like pushes it in, so attaches pushing is it not in somehow. in here. This kaburi means to bite. So tsuku means to sink your teeth into something. Kaburi. It's not the other suku, right? It is the not attached, the attached suku. suku. It is attached suku. You're attaching a bite. So in ah. English, we say to sink your teeth. Why the heck do we say sink? We're not sinking. We're not drowning in water. Ah, help me! Ah. But in Japanese, they say you attach oh, yeah. your bite to mean to sink your teeth into something. So you could just say bite, but It feels Kaburi. more nice as a like kaburitsuku when you're talking about they're eating something, right? Versus saying, I bit into the muffin. I sink、right. into the muffin.、Um, do you know how to read this word? And this hasande. Hi. Hasamu. Hi.、Right. Um, Sobikomu. Hasande. Mori, what is this? I forgot. Hasande. Hi. Hasamu is to be in between two things. So over here, we're talking about a muffin. I told you that,、um, so when you get like a muffin like this, normally you'll cut the muffin in half, so that you have two halves of the muffin like this. You got two halves of the muffin.、Um, sorry, I think it's weird. So on this muffin, he nudies some jamu, and then he has samus, some cheese. And、then he kaburi tsukus into it. Hey, what is that?、Um, do you know what this word is? Obi koma. Jump in. Hi.、Right. Perfect.、Um, can you read this word for me? 
Toby das jump out. Perfect. Um, how about this bolded section? Pocket no okni tsukomu tsuku from tsuku. To, to stuff sukomu into the pocket, inside a pocket. I'm guessing sukomu here meaning um, to, to, to hear something inside, right? Yes. You got the into. stabbing and inside. So what is stabbed into the pocket as a literal translation? But it means like to plunge in, I guess. Right, I get like a yeah, similar plunge, English. Yeah, be right. To plunge into the pocket. <laughs> what is plunge it in? What plunge it in? Um, see. Chuck ma ma do sek yo. Do sek yo ni irishime. What is he plunging here? I want that that. So I want that that is in a panic. Niki shimeru is to clutch hard. To clutch hard. So in a panic, I clutch hard to the mado seki. And what do I do? I clutch hard in the stone. Then I plunge into the pocket. Right. And the idea is that you're plunging and the pocket. Was... You're 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 plunging not yourself into the pocket. You're plunging the stone and your hand that's holding it into the pocket. That's why the particle o here is attached to madoseki, and we don't have any new o's. So if we were changing the object of a sentence, we would have to get a second o into the sentence. So in Japanese, we have multiple clauses. You normally borrow from the previous club if a new subject or topic is not identified, with the exception of sometimes I will randomly be insinuated by context, like with shikderu and things like that. So right here, it's basically saying, in a panic, I clutch the magical stone and plunge it into my pocket. See, in English, we just say, it. we add the word it, our nonsensical sentence to refer to the magical stone. I plunge it into my pocket. Um, what did kabari tsuku mean? Hi. Kabari tsuku to sink teeth hi, 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 hi. into something. Perfect. So let's go read the lines in the book. Ore wa muffin ni kabari tsuki. Nokori o poketo ni sukomu to ukatsu no kaban o matte. Soto no tori ni tobida shita. Hi. So you said matte here? Hi. So what's the first thing Ori does? So I. He kabari suki. He sink his teeth into the muffin. Then he nori o poketo ni sukomu to. Then I plunge uh, the leftovers into the pocket. So he 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 take a bite and then he put the rest of it in the pocket. Perfect. Katsu no kaban o motte. I I grabbed. I took hold of the two bags. And then I soto no tori ni. I, um, I tobi dashita. I jump. I go out to the street, to Aye. the outer road, to the road Aye. on the outside. So by jumping outside in Japanese, they're meaning he rushed outside. He ran out like he's flying out of the um shokudo. Do you remember how to read this verb? Aye. He dashes out. Hi hi hi. Hi, it's omoi. Uh, no, it's not omoi as in thinking, but it's like. Omoi as in heavy. Right. Omoi as in heavy. Perfect. Um, do you know how to read this word? Omoi. Omoi. 
Zui bon. Okay, Zui bon means very. Zui bon. Uh, for example, can you read the sentence for me? Ma, asa goha. No, it's not asa goha. It's asa shoku. No, it's not asa shoku. No, it's, you're. Um, it, it's a. Uh... shoku. Hi. So perfect. Chou shoku wo totte. Ozon no kamo iro. Kao, kao iro wa. The face. The face is kao. Hi. Huh? The face is iro. Kao iro, yeah? Kao iro wa. Zuibun yoku mataga. Um, it's, it's, I think it's a well, uh, take the breakfast. Uh, the boy's face. Uh, zuibun yoku nata become well. Hi. Uh, okay. very well. You say very zuibun well. was very. Has gotten quite a it's bit an better. Intensifier. Hi. Well, since he's taken breakfast, um, <laughs> I threw in the word since here because it's ending in te. Um, the boy's face has gotten yeah. quite a bit better. Well, perfect. Um, so now we're reading the line from the book. Zubun. Zubun. Moi kedo. It's quite heavy, however. Um, however, nani guy iteru daro? What's inside of it? Um, she toka rocks. Hi. So this is pronounced as ishi. Yeah. So e for this verb e de du. That is the marker that shows that this would be pronounced with as an e. The verb haidu doesn't have a re. So hai and e are the two possible trans readings of this kanji. The only exception to that are with certain idioms and compound words such as iriguchi, which is entrance, where we have e with a du, right? Iri. Iriguchi. Or um, other things as well. So when you see this kanji with a du, it's going to be hai. And this kanji with a de, it's going to be i. So right over here, we have a glottal stop and then a te. Do you think it's going to be i with a de outside of it? Is there a de outside over here? There's no red here. Hi, 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 hi. So it makes it have to be height. That's the only um possibility. Height did it. So if this was a set phrase, like an like an idiom or something, then it could be itte. Um, but I can't think of one on top of my head. But they those are there are set phrase phrases. But this is not a set phrase, right? It's nani ga. Nani ga height is there something inside, right? Is that what it's saying? Hi, it is saying that. Do you know is what that all means? Inside the bag. Hmm. Probably. That all can mean probably. Isn't it? How, uh, what does nani mean? What? Yes, it means what. It does not mean something. Something would be the word nani ka, which is adding the word ka, directly to the question word nani to make a new word. So this is a compound word. So for example, in English, that is the ka is adding some, like somewhere, We've got the question word where and some. So it's not really a, a totally a grammatical thing. It's a compound word. So it's a new word somewhere. Nani ka, um, doko ka versus doko. So this is just what. So we have a question word right here. What is is right, right? Is in. What is in? That all. So theoretically, you'd say what is in, and probably, but that doesn't really make sense in English. 
So probably is what this means. But when you translate into English, I wonder would be a better um, translation uh, when there's a question word in the sentence, just because of how English works. Um, so I wonder what's in it. What's in it? I had to throw in the word it as well, because English is silly. I wonder what's in it. Right. I wonder what's in it. Ishitoka? Nariga. Ishitoka? Rocks? Exactly. Rocks? Yeah, you can't really translate the toka. Like rocks, etc. For example, rocks. But just saying rocks on its own just works better in English. So perfect. It's quite heavy, but I wonder what's in it. Rocks? It's a perfect way to translate that. Um, felt like you did great on those, so I'm not going to go back. Do you remember how to read this word? Ote. Hi, ote. Do you know what that means? That means uh, caught up. Uh, it caught up mean, to someone. That's a good, so this does show up in the word that means to catch up. However, to make it mean catch up, you have to add tuku which is to attach. So how do you think we'd add attach to the verb o? o, o. How could we o, make these o, two into a compound o. verb? Oitsuku. Yep, oitsuku. That means to catch up. So without the up <laughs> part of it, the attaching part, it just means to chase. Ote, to chase. So the catching is not in here yet. Chase. So this right here says chase. to chase nobody. I chase nobody. Um, probably he does catch up at some point, but it's not specifically in the sentence him catching up. So tuku to attach is how we make that mean to catch. Um, can you read this word for me? Um, kikizu. Hi, hikizuru. This means to pull along the ground or to lug something, because hiku is to pull, and I guess zuru makes it obvious that it's something really heavy you're pulling. Hikizuru. So now you get to go read the line from the book. Muffin o tabenakara. Kaban o hikizute. Neburi to. Benet no oto o ota. Hi, ato ota. Wow. Ato ota. While I was eating the muffin, I drag along. I drag, right? Drag, like, yep. like dragging it across the floor. Or... Hi, hi, hi. I drag. The kaban, the bag, um, neburi and banet, um, after after I chase, um. So you said after ato, oh, I ota. chase. However, English is S V O. <laughs> it's subject, verb, object. That's my hint to you. This is English. Japanese ends with the verb, right? It's, um, I guess it's S-O-V to some extent. So subject, object, verb. So you said after I chase. Ending so, with the verb, which is very Japanesey, but we wanted to translate this into English. So I chase after. Yes, suddenly it makes sense. Never I chase ended. after. <laughs> That's so but weird. This after. This I chase after, after Bennett and Nevity. This is That's, that should make sense suddenly, right? This is we say that in this, English. Is that what it 
Yeah. Is that what this Ato mean? Or does this yep. Ato say, I do this chasing after I do the nope. eating? You'd have to put Ato in a different location. In, it just means I chase great. after. I chase after. I chase Bennett. after. Same as the English word. It's so weird that they use it in the exact <laughs> same, same way. Phrasing, <laughs> phrasing like that. Yep. Woo, it's the ato, same. Ato. No ato. Chase after them. Hi, hi, hi. Also, Chase after both of them. Okay. Okay. Um, that. Do you remember how to read this verb? Um, aru, aruku, aruku. Good guess. So, aruku, aruku, we saw earlier, aruku, and it looks like this. It has oh. a little smiley face on it. It's it's really weird. It says, stop the little. Yep, it is running. What is running? Uh, hash, hash, hashiru, hashiru, hashite. Hash, yep, hashite. Perfect. This is the word that you probably know how to read and what it means. What is it? Oitsuku. Hi. Catch up. Exactly. Perfect. Oitsuku. Can you read this for me? Theoretically, it's a compound verb, but it's pronounced like if you have a verb and then a noun afterwards. Compound noun. Right. It is. Um, what's it then? Kawa. It's not kawa. Um, gaki ma magari kado. Perfect. What is a magari kado? It's a bend at the corner. Hi, hi, hi. Specifically, kind of insinuating oh, like corner. on a road type of thing versus the corners of your room, you probably would just say kado. So a magari insinuates like of a road, a turn, the corner turn of some kind of road. Or in the case we saw in this book, it was talking about um, a roka, a hallway. So magari is a curve and right. kado is corner. So this should probably be our last sentence of the day. But if you're really fast, you might have time for more. So we'll find out. Right. Um, two, two, two people make a turn at the corner right. um, um, so that to catch up, uh, they run, they hashiru. In this case, the subject is changed to I. I. Which is confusing. I, so that I can catch up. Hi, hi, hi. In order to catch up. Yep. In order I to catch run, up, she I can run. I. I have no choice except for running if I want to catch up, since those two um, turn the corner. So perfect. And we do actually have time for more. Hi. Um, do you know what this word is? You know, you know, die. 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 Perfect. So your job is to remember that this guy is read as she. It's also read as she when it's married. Um, can you read this sentence for me? Onna koushaku wa inda. The Duchess die. Hi. Can you read this word for me? Hishi. Small too. Hishi is um kanji is a important like has to and death. This means frantically. Like you're working so hard as if you're going to die. Hishi. And you'll normally see like ni added to it to turn into an adverb. Hishi ni. So this ended with she. What did it start with? Uh, now let's go read this sentence. 
泥棒は必死に走った。I run frantically. The、はい、thief ran frantically. Perfect. ぶつける is to slam into something.、Um, can you read this for me? 俺は俺の足にカバンをぶつけた。俺は俺の足。I, my leg,、um, slam into the slam at the,、uh, the bag. That's kind of what it's saying, but let's go look at the particles a little bit、my、closer.、Leg. Oh, me. Ah, the, the bag slam at my leg. Exactly. Theoretically, say it's I slam the bag into my leg, theoretically, but、uh, perfectly great of how I translate. Here's our last line of the day. This time for realsies. Kabang o ashi ni butsuke na gara while the bag was being slammed into my leg. um To be. City, Ori, the street of Kubi City. Hi. O, Ishi ni, Ashita. I ran frantically、um, on the Hiki City Street. Hi, hi.、Kubi、Perfect. Kubi City Street. Nice. The, hang, the hangman street. It is the hangman street. The street of hanging, specifically like a hangman. And you're reading, and this, you read everything perfect, but just as a random note, when you have like a sheet with a glottal stop, it's probably going to be hashita rather than hashita. Hashita. Which I'm just randomly pointing out because it doesn't matter. <laughs> You'll get used to it eventually. But it's just like the random, like, hey, did you know? Hashita. Hashita. So、you don't really need the aggressive e、Hashtag. in running. A little bit easier to say.、Mm. It's like an interesting thing with e and u in Japanese are there sometimes goes disappearing. They're the disappearing act ver- vowels.、Um, okay, so yeah, that's where we're ending for the day.、Um,